वेलकम वेलकम माय डियर फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर राजेंद्र रघुवीर देशपांडे फ्रॉम पुणे महाराष्ट्र स्टेट इंडिया वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय आयुर्वेदा एकेडमी यूट्यूब चैनल माय व्हाट्सएप नंबर फॉर पेड ऑनलाइन कंसल्टेशन एंड पेड ऑनलाइन बी एम एस क्लासेस एज यू नो वेन वी वॉन्ट टू ट्रीट एनी पेशंट द फर्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेप इज टू डायग्नोज द पेशंट and for proper diagnosis we need the clinical examination so this is a series of ayurvedic clinical examination with respect to the srotas in ayurveda ayurveda says there are the different channels in our body by which the different metabolic processes takes place regarding the different body elements for example there are 13 important srotasas pranavah srotas annavah srotas udakavah srotas and then seven srotasas of the dhatu that is the body tissues rasavah srotas raktavah srotas up to the mouth made asthi majja shukravah srotas and three srotasas three three of waste products mutravah srotas purishavah srotas swedavah srotas of course in the ladies there are some important another srotasas also like artavah srotas stanyavah srotas that we will consider afterwards first we are saying we have already completed the examination of pranavah srotas annavah srotas udakavah srotas rasavah srotas now this is raktavah srotas so let us start to discuss about raktavah srotas where the manufacturing of rakta dhatu the activities of rakta dhatu functions of rakta dhatu all the metabolic processes takes place in this srotas because ayurveda believes that any disease is formed because of the stroto vaigunya or stroto dushti let us start to discuss about raktavah srotas of course in every system ayurveda says trividha pariksha trividha pariksha is important darshana sparshana and prashna darshana is the inspection by eyes or any instrument sparshana three things are there palpation percussion auscultation and prashna pariksha that is interrogation or history taking we will do this trividha pariksha in two aspects physiological aspect and pathological aspect prakrita and vikrita okay so darshana pariksha first part prakrit color of the any organ of a general body or any human being what is the color is there any discoloration so we have to ayurveda has explained four types of prakrita varna physiological colors and complexion in the human being sham sham avadat avadat and krishna these are the sanskrit words like a fair looking and little bit more fair less fair like that so sham sham avadat avadat and krishna these are the sanskrit words for the colors ranging from the black to the fair okay red color and the radiance how you can understand the radiance especially in the conjunctiva because of the shining also there should be snigdhata raktavarnata and snigdhata these are the two features of rakta dhatu so we have to see these two parts one is a red color and second is a smoothness a uh, uh, lubricating uh, uh, part snigdhata in that particular organ we have to examine the nails nakh netra that is eyes jiva that is tongue osht they are the lips hastapad tal then hands and feet in pandu vyadhi pandu is a name in sanskrit which is mean comparative comparative terms is anemic condition hemoglobin less than 10 g per cent so you will get the paleness in the nails paleness in the conjunctiva palpebral conjunctiva paleness on the tongue paleness on the lips and also the dryness i have already mentioned raktata and snigdhata this is we are testing the rakta dhatu sarata quality and quantity of rakta dhatu by darshana pariksha so here you can see the pathological aspect whenever you see paleness or the especially typical white color less melanin melanin deficiency that particular vyadhi is indicated leukoderma or the shvitra in ayurveda okay then if you see the yellow coloration ictiras then it is a infective hepatitis or jaundice in ayurveda it is called as kamala 
Okay, you can see on the screen that bluish coloration here, it indicates the cyanosis, tip of the tongue, you can see, or the nails also, uh, circulation problem should be there, then less oxygenation. Now you have the instrument oximeter. In the corona pandemic, you see the oximeter, the how much oxygen in your body. Like you see, always they are worried if the below 90%, always it should be 95, 96, 97%, etc. Okay, urine, you have to check high colored urine, it indicates jaundice. So all the colors are also depend on the quality and quantity of Rakta Dhatu, that is the examination part of Rakta Vaha Srotasa. Okay, stool, if it is a black tari colored, then you must do the stool examination for occult blood, hidden blood. Okay, that comes from the intestinal ulcer bleeding, minute capillaries are broken down. Now we will see the next step, darshan after sparshana. Sparshan means to touch. So for example, in the twacha, in the skin, we have to check whether it is a smooth, snigdh, lubricating, oiliness is there, or it is a rough, khar, according to Ayurveda. Whether it is a sheetha sparsha or the ushna sparsha. Color is depend on rakta dhatu. Temperature regulation is also controlled by the rakta vah srotasa or rakta dhatu. So, sheet or hot or cold. Sensation about touch, pain and temperature. Touch, pain, temperature. Tactile sensation is also indicating some vascular normalcy or vascular abnormalities. Peripheral pulsations. Okay. Blood circulation. Then we have to check the most important organ for rakta vahas rotas is yakrit or the liver. Don't forget to examine the yakrit. Because whether it is a palpable, whether it has a sparsha sahatva, huh? that means it should be tender. That is called as a tenderness means sparsha asatva. When you press at the right uh, hypochondric region, patient say, ah, this is tenderness, sparsha sahatva. So when uh, you get the hepatomegaly, that is uh, particularly alcoholic patient, huh? cirrhotic uh, uh, patient, alcoholic patient, huh? then you get the uh, palpable limb, but there is not too much pain in the beginning. Okay, then there, if there is a jaundice, infective hepatitis A, B, C, etc., then definitely liver will be tender. So, this is the difference tenderness and palpable. Then you have to check the spleen because yakrit and pliha are said to be mula sthana of rakta versus controlling part, manufacturing part, manufacturing organ. Here, spleen RBCs are broken down. So, pliha is also important whether there is a splenomegaly. Huh? In Medha Dhatu Kshaya, Ayurveda has explained there should be, there will be splenomegaly. In the ascites or in Ayurveda, it is called Udara, you get the splenomegaly. In the elephantiasis or in Ayurveda, Sanskrit word is the Shlipada, you get the splenomegaly. You can get, it's not 100%. In malaria or Vishamajwar, you can get the splenomegaly. Next, Darshana, Sparshana and Prashna. In order to maintain uttam rakta sarata, that is the blood quality, it is advisable to pay attention to one's food or the diet. Does the diet include blood building components, the elements required for prakrit erythropoiesis, manufacturing of RBCs? Then you have to ask whether you are eating the natsani, that is the finger millet, whether you are eating the beetroot, whether you are eating dates, coriander, jaggery, red color food, this, this contain all iron. And iron is very essential for erythropoiesis, manufacturing of the RBC and hemoglobin. Okay. So iron is essential. Proteins are essential. Hormones are essential. Copper is essential. Okay. So you have to ask. Dadim, palm grenade. Kalinga or watermelon, saffron, all these things you have to ask. It is recommended to have a balanced diet at regular interval for the proper functioning of rakta vasudas. Whether the person is doing any unwanted religious or excessive fasting or doing dieting that can hamper the quality of rakta dhatu. Rakta dhatu will not be formed properly. Rakta vasudas will be damaged. Sroto vaigunya. Then sroto dushti. Is the menstrual cycle is natural in the females? Uh, whether it is has any less or more, especially if there is excessive menstrual bleeding, that is dangerous for the getting anemic condition. Okay. Are there any diseases caused by the impurity of Rakta Dhatu? Blood is not pure. Blood is not of good quality. 
such as the skin disorders are always related with the rakta vasrutas pathology or rakta dhatu pathology so you have to ask about skin disorder history bleeding disorder history prene enlargement skin discoloration leukoderma urticaria anal fissure indigestion all this history is very important which will give you that there may be some problem in the physiological status of the rakta vasrutas are there any reasons for the impurity of rakta dhatu for example consuming the heat inducing substances they are very bad for the pitta dosha and pitta and rakta they are interlinked ashraya shri sambandh when pitta dosha is disturbed always rakta dhatu is also damaged rakta vasrutas is also damaged so this is prashna pariksha history taking is most important part in rakta vasrutas excessively spicy oily sour sugary excessively hot beverages alcohol all these belong to the disturbing category of substances to vitiate the pitta dosha and rakta dhatu contact with the excessive heat related occupation such as the glass factories then the pottery chemicals radiation all these also can disturb pitta and rakta so we have to take the proper history how does the onset of the skin disorder occur how does it increase regarding the recovery regarding the recurrence you get the details so that it will indicate the how that rakta vasrutas has been damaged because of this problem support to investigations you can support your provisional clinical diagnosis by doing some investigations for example hemogram and esr erythrocyte sedimentation rate in the hemogram you get the hemoglobin count which is normal 12 to 14 gram per cent rbc count like for example 4.5 to 5.5 million per cubic mm then if it is a leukocytosis wbc normal 4 to 11000 per 10000 per cubic mm if it is 15000 25000 then that is called as a leukocytosis which also indicate the infections and infection also can disturb the rakta dhatu then fasting and post glucose blood sugar like for example diabetes mellitus is always having some relation with the skin disorder because uh, if you have the uh, uncontrolled blood sugar your uh, rakta purity will not take place it will always damage your rakta dhatu rakta vasrutas also because uh, sugar is always moving in the uh, in the sugar uh, in the blood and it is not entering into the cell so di uncontrolled diabetes is one of the hurdle to get cure in your rakta vasrutas problem like the skin diseases fungus fungal infections like tinea cruris is very common with the diabetes mellitus even balanitis type of the problem they are very common with the uh, diabetes skin biopsy sometimes it is needed for example leprosy or hansen's disease the patch is anesthetic hypopigmented patch you must suspect ah it may be the leprosy so always dermatologist prefer the dermatologist and he will do the skin biopsy then sometimes in the liver liver is a main organ main industry factory in our body especially for the rakta vasrutas all metabolic processes are taking place in the liver so liver biopsy sometimes needed for the liver cancer patients then lft this is the most important uh, investigation liver function test because liver is a controlling organ in the rakta vasrutas btct bleeding time and clotting time is also sometimes expected and needed then here you can see the normal values serum bilirubin 0.3 to 11.1 and this bilirubin increases in the infective hepatitis that is jaundice serum albumin and globulin albumin is 3.5 to 5.5 g per cent this albumin can be considered as a poshak mouse dhatu poshak mouse dhatu when we want to build the muscles mouse dhatu always your proteins should be adequate and that is coming through the blood okay serum globulin 1.5 to 3 g albumin globulin ratio is more important 2 to 1 sgot sgpt these are the enzymes alkaline phosphatase sgot 5 to 40 units per ml this sgot is related with the mouse when it is coming out in the blood that is very heavily that poured in the blood and that mouse dhatu vrana especially after heart attack after the heart attack your cardiac muscles are getting uh, infarct and because small injury is there and in that injury cardiac muscle injury definitely hgot is raised remember this word hgpt is not raised but hgot is raised that can differentiate whether the problem is with the only liver or with the cardiac muscle as well okay hgpt 5 to 5, 35 units per ml yakrit dhatu pakta level 
when there is a dhatu pak is a specific concept of ayurveda when the liver tissue is going on damaging then this particular enzyme levels are increased because they are poured from the damaged cells into the blood into the blood okay so the normal level is increased then serum alkaline phosphate is 5 to 13 au then increase in the obstructive jaundice especially but normal in the hemolytic jaundice also increase in the degenerative changes of the bone so this is not only the things but you have to very carefully always take a reference from charaka vimanasthan chapter number 5 sroto vimani adhyay here raktavas rotas dushti karana has been given the causes for the pathology of raktavas rotas vidahi annapanani very irritating food spicy food pungent food snick the ushnani dravani cha excessive fatty substances excessive heat provocating food stuff and your lifestyle and the atmosphere dravani cha rakta vahini dushanti bhajatam cha atap analu atap atap sun excessive heat excessive sun is always damaging the rakta vastu tasa okay anal difference anal is agni and anil is vayu now what will happen if my rakta vastu tasa is damaged kushth any skin disease kushth is not only leprosy all the skin diseases like for example eczema dadru pama all the titib mahakushth all these are there kushth means skin diseases visar p like erysipelas cellulitis pidaka small folliculitis abscess rakta pittam asrudraha rakta pitta bleeding disorder problem then gud medr asya pak gud pak medr pak asya pak asya pak stomatitis gud pak the inflammation around the anus then medr pak balanitis pliha pliha means splenomegaly gulm ath vidradi hi gulm tumor vidradi abscess nilika kamala vyang kamala jaundice vyang tarunya pitika acne vulgaris piplu vastila kalaka ha dadru dadru charm dal chitra lukodarma pama skibins kot astra mandalam rakta dosha jayante this can happen so you have to ask about all these diseases which indirectly indicate hmm rakta vasrotas is not good okay so my dear friend this is all about examination of rakta vasrotas if you have any health problem we have the ayurveda academy excellent doctors ayurvedic neurologist ayurvedic gynecologist ayurvedic pediatrician ayurvedic physician so you just have to whatsapp only not the phone calls i am sorry okay 9226810630 disclaimer kaun se bhi bimari mein yatha avashyak yatha kal vaidhi ki salah lena zarurat hai i always request that please 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 like this video share this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell button icon to give the energy to professor desh pande i am very thankful for your love and affection and the cooperation see you in the next video